Chicago faces an epidemic of gun violence. 47 rather people injured in shootings here in the city of Chicago. Multiple people were injured in a workplace shooting in Aurora, Illinois Friday. The past 72 hours in Chicago, we saw a despicable level of violence with 52 shot and 10 killed. Chicago now where at least 38 people were shot over Memorial Day weekend. McHenry, obviously a city in Illinois, we, uh, we follow all the gun laws that are set forth by the state of Illinois, which include the various steps you have to go through to purchase a firearm, as well as owning one. Um, you, can't be, you can't be a felon and have a gun. That's a, that's a, fe that's a federal requirement. Additionally, um, Illinois has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. City of McHenry specifically, um, we don't we don't necessarily have any any separate laws aside from the the, the state laws. My name is Sam Schaefer. I'm the school resource officer here at McHenry West. My name is Stephanie Wachter and I am an 8th grade paraprofessional. Christina Barajas, manager at Second Amendment Sports. My name is Ronald Nablet. I'm 73 years old. I've had two jobs in my life. Working at Woodstock Die Casting. The second time, I, my second job was a carpenter for 29 and a half years. It doesn't make me nervous to send my kids to school. I feel like the schools are taking um, proper steps to protect kids. I also feel like there's a lot more steps that we can take. So as long as they're taking threats seriously and um, the safety of the kids is the most important thing. So I do feel like they are safe. Um, I, I do question why somebody might need to have a large amount of guns or guns that can um, kill a, a large group of people. For this year, 2020, there are 50 gun shows in Illinois alone. There is a major difference between gun shows and gun shops. Gun shops require a FOID card to purchase, a 4423, which is an extension of a background check, a background check, has, and a three-day cool-down period after the purchase. You must be 18 years old to purchase a firearm at a gun shop. Gun shows require a FOID card, however, they are not always checked. During a private sale, you do not need a background check. There is no cool down period and no age limit at a gun show. I've been to plenty of gun shows. I've never bought one. And as for the, there's pros and cons on that. I do believe there should be a little more checking on, the, on some of these people. But. So, gun 
shows don't need a federal firearms license, which most people call an FFL. So they don't, they don't, they're not governed by anything. Basically, we have a lot of rules. We have to follow by the, to the T, or we can be shut down. But like prices are 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 lower, and I suppose paperwork. If you don't want to do any paperwork, if you want to get in, get out, get your firearm, and leave. Um, also, if you are a sh quote unquote shady person who has stuff under their belt like domestic abuse or different like you, you've been to a mental asylum and that kind of stuff you don't want to answer the yes or no questions you do not want to incriminate yourself so you might want to go to a place that doesn't have those This is a parent's worst nightmare. This is something you never want to hear or see. 17 people killed in a mass shooting at a Florida high school. I say people, most of them kids, high school kids. 